Allen, Anderson, Bates, Bell, Berryhill, Block, Canella, De Leon, Fuller, Gaines, Galgiani, Glazer, Hall, Hancock, Hernandez, Hertzberg, Hill, Hueso, Huff, Jackson, Lada, Leno, Leva, Lou, McGuire, Mendoza, Mitchell, Monning, Morlock, Morell, Wynn, Nielsen, Pan, Pavley, Roth, Runner, Stone, Vidak, Wykowski, Wolk. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Members, a quorum is present. Would the member, members and our guests be on the rail and in the gallery please rise. We will be led in prayer this afternoon by our chaplain, Sister Michelle Gorman, after which time please remain standing and we will be led in the Pledge of Allegiance by Senator Leno. Let us recall that we are in God's holy presence. Gracious God, you meet us in unexpected places. Traces of your grace are strewn all over our schedule puckered lives. We ask to be stirred and disturbed towards soul-satisfying results in our desires to serve you, our neighbor, and even our enemy. Ease us into being good Samaritans to each other to the outcast and rejected ones, and to those whose fear sometimes makes them obnoxious. Make us bold to call others to accountability, even as we model humility to the arrogant, mercy to the self-righteous, compassion to the indifferent. O oh God of many surprises, Make us glad of heart for each day's opportunities to bring our imagination and creativity to the disturbances that threaten to discourage us. We will continue to believe in the impossible. Amen. Good afternoon, members. We will start with privileges of the floor. Senator Wynn. Senator Wynn at the pro tem's desk. Please proceed. Thank you, Madam President. Today I rise to present SC, um, Senate Resolution 73 to recognize May 15 as Ao Yai Day in Se California. Senator Wynn, can I stop you for one moment? I forgot you were going to be bringing up your resolution first. Mr. Secretary, please read. Senate Re Resolution 73 by Senator Wynn, an act relative to Ao Zai Day. Senator Wynn, please proceed. Thank you. Um, today I rise to present Senate Resolution 73 to recognize May 15 as Ao Yai Day in California. An ao yai is a traditional long gown worn over pants that Vietnamese American men and women wear on special occasions. In Vietnamese, ao means shirt and yai means long. Together, ao yai translate into long shirt. The ao yai has a long history in Vietnamese culture and identity with the various royal families of Vietnam. Many individuals begin to wear the ao yai to demonstrate their patriotism. However, the communist government of Vietnam banned the Ao Yai for decades as a symbol of capitalism. Today, the Ao Yai is a symbol of national pride for members of the Vietnamese community. According to the founders of the Ao Yai Festival, the Ao Yai Day combines a Vietnamese design with Western elements of fashion and aesthetics to become a product that is uniquely Vietnamese. I respectfully ask for your I vote on SC, uh, SR73. Thank you, Senator Wynn. Members, is there any discussion or debate? Senator Bell. Yes, Madam President, uh, as joint author, I rise in strong support of this resolution. Uh, last week, uh, Senator Nguyen and I presented a large delegation of, of Vietnamese leaders commemorating Black April. 
Uh, among our leaders uh, that were there was Jenny Doe, who is here with us today. She's a District 15 resident. Um, on May 15th, uh, thousands of people will attend uh, one of our most important cultural events in San Jose, uh, the Aoyai Festival, where, where we'll get to experience the Vietnamese art and cultural exchange. And I urge support of this resolution and um, uh, look forward to attending the festival uh, with my wife, Pat, and uh, friends, and uh, enjoy the great festival and culture we have in San Jose. Uh, this is going to be a, a big event in our community, and I'm very pleased to be supporting uh, this joint offer, S SR73. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Bell. Members, any further discussion or debate? Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Allen? Aye. Aye. Anderson? Aye. Aye. Bates? Bell? Aye. Aye. Berryhill? Aye. Aye. Block? Aye. 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 Canella? Aye. Aye. De Leon? Aye. Fuller? Aye. Aye. Gaines? Aye. Aye. Galgiani? Aye. Aye. Glazer? Aye. Aye. Hall? Hancock? Hernandez? Aye. Aye. Hertzberg? Hill? Weso? Aye. Aye. Huff? Aye. Jackson? Aye. Aye. Lada? Aye. Aye. Leno? Aye. Aye. Leba? Aye. Aye. Lou? Aye. Aye. McGuire? Aye. Aye. Mendoza? Aye. Aye. Mitchell? Aye. Aye. Morlock? Aye. Monning? Aye. Aye. Morell? Wynn? Aye. Aye. Nielsen? Aye. Aye. Pan? Aye. Aye. Pavley? Aye. Roth? Aye. Aye. Runner? Stone? Aye. Vidak? Aye. Aye. Wykowski? Aye. Aye. Wolk? Aye. Aye. Please call the absent members. Bates? De Leon? Hall? Aye. Aye. Hancock? Hertzberg? Hill? Aye. Aye. Morell? Aye. Aye. Runner? Please call the absent members. Bates? Aye. Aye. De Leon? Hancock? Hertzberg? Runner? Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Eyes 36, no zero. The resolution passes. Thank you all for joining us. <laughs> Ladies, we appreciate your enthusiasm, but no clapping on the floor. <laughs> yes, uh, Senator Wynn. Madam President, may I um, make a presentation? Under privileges of the floor, please Thank proceed. You. Thank you. Madam President, um, Joining me in the back of the chamber is Jenny Doe from San Jose. While she is a successful attorney today, she was born and raised in Saigon in extreme, in extreme um, poor poverty while, until she was able to immigrate to the United States at the age of 18. She is relentless, advocate for the underprivileged, and, de and she de devotes her life to the, service, to the service of the Vietnamese American community. She is the current chairwoman of the Friends of Hue Foundation which is a nonprofit based around the mission of providing long-term assistance to underprivileged children and families in the Tua Tien Hue province of Vietnam. They provide education, healthcare, and natural disasters relief to those living in Vietnam while striving to create economic self-sufficiency. Attorney Doe is also very well respected within the Vietnamese American community of San Jose and across the state. In order to celebrate the diversity of American society, San Jose hosts the annual event known as the Aozai Festival. Jenny was very critical to the creation and founder of the Aozai Day Festival and successfully pushed the San Jose City Council to pass a resolution similar to SR 73, recognizing May 17th as Aozai Day. Please help me in joining and welcoming Attorney Jenny Doe, her family, and also all the community leaders in the, um, within the Vietnamese American community here today. Thank you, Senator Wynn. Welcome, Jenny Doe, to your Senate floor.
Members, we are still under privileges of the floor. I do believe former Senator Lou Correa was in the back of chambers, as was former Senator Martha Escoutier, and we'd like to say hello and welcome to both of them. <laughs> Senator Weso, did you have an introduction? Very good. We will move on and come back. Senator Fuller. For purposes of introduction. Thank you. Please proceed. Thank you, Madam President and members. I am honored to introduce today not one, but two Miss America local title holders whom I can proudly say are both born and raised in Kern County. With us today are Isamar Olaguez, Miss Orange Coast 2016, who will be competing for Miss California 2016 on July 2nd in Fresno. And Emma Grimes, Miss Orange County's Outstanding Teen 2016, who will be competing for Miss California's Outstanding Teen 2016 on July 1st in Fresno. So I think we'll all be paying attention to July 1st and 2nd. Both of these wonderful representatives of Kern County have already made a positive difference in the lives of so many, particularly in the youth of our communities. Isamar, born and raised in Bakersfield, is currently attending Cal State Bakersfield, where she is majoring in theater arts. She shares my passion for education and plans on being a high school theater teacher after graduation. Emma is a lifelong resident of Tehachapi and is currently attending Tehachapi High School, where she is a junior. Although still in high school, she has already authored a children's book titled I Love STEAM, Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Mathematics. Both of these young women represent the best my district has to offer, and I have no doubt that they will go on to do great things to make the world a better place and come back occasionally to Senate District 16 to make us know how special we all can be if we follow our dreams and work hard. Please join me in giving the Senate welcome to Miss Orange County 2016 Isamar Olaguez and Miss Orange County's Outstanding Teen 2016 Emma Grimes. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Fuller. Ladies, welcome to your Senate floor. Okay, members, back to business. Messages from the governor will be deemed read. Messages from the assembly will be deemed read. Reports of committee will be deemed read and amendments adopted. Motions, resolutions, and notices. There are floor amendments at the desk and they will be deemed adopted. All right, members, we're moving on to consideration of the daily file. Second reading file, Mr. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 801. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Under governor, governor's appointments, Mr. Pro Tem, would you like to proceed at this time? Mr. Pro Tem, please proceed when you're ready. Mr. Pro Tem. 
Thank you very much, uh, Madam President, colleagues. We have file item number three. These are appointments to the Contractors State License Board. We have Ms. Joan uh, Hancock, um, Marlo Richardson, as well as Frank Shedder. Uh, Marlo Richardson is new to the board. Uh, she's a lieutenant with the City of Los Angeles Airport Police, and she is focused on protecting consumers. Uh, both uh, Ms. Hancock as well as Mr. Shedder uh, are being reappointed to the board. Madam President, I respectfully ask for an aye vote. Thank you, Mr. Pro Tem. Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Allen? Aye. aye Anderson? Aye. aye Bates? Aye Bell? Aye Berryhill? Aye. Berryhill, aye Block? Aye, aye Canella? Aye, aye DeLeon? Fuller? Aye, aye Gaines? Aye, aye Galgiani? Aye, aye Glazer? Aye, aye Hall? Aye, Hancock, Hernandez, aye, Hertzberg, Hill, aye, Hueso, aye, Huff, aye, Jackson, aye, Lada, aye, Leno, aye, Leva, aye, Lou, McGuire, aye, Mendoza, aye, Mitchell, aye, Monning. I Morlock, I Morell, I Win, I Nielsen, Pan, I Pavley, I Roth, I Runner, Stone, I Vidak, I Wykowski, I Wolk, I. Mr. Secretary, please call the absent members. Delion. I, Hancock, I, Hertzberg, Lou, I, Nielsen, Runner. Yeah, 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 so, so count him, yeah, he, he's voting I. Nielsen, I. Nielsen, I. Ayes 38, no zero. The appointments are confirmed. Thank you. Members, we are going to return back to privileges of the floor. Senator Weso at Senator Monning's desk. Thank you, Madam President, and thank you, members of the Senate. As Vice Chair of the California Latino Legislative Caucus, it is my pleasure to Senator introduce- Senator Weso, can I interrupt you for a moment? Members, we're a little loud. The gallery, we're a little loud. If we can just be <laughs> respectful of the speaker, thank you. Please proceed. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce our 2016 Latino Spirit Award honorees. We are uh, very blessed to have some of the best of the Latino community here with us today, uh, representing uh, many diverse areas of the California community. The Latino Spirit Awards were founded 15 years ago in the legislature by the Latino Caucus to highlight positive role models and leaders within our Latino community. Our honorees represent a small sample of the great achievements one can accomplish through hard work, perseverance, and through the support of our community. Each one has an incredible story, one that inspires us to move and become engaged in the community. We are proud that every person that we are honoring today has a rich history of the Latino experience in California. That they are represented and here today and our Latino spirit continues to shine bright uh, as w within the 15, last 15 years and be before that. I would like to introduce our special honorees today, our special guests to the Senate floor, beginning with Samantha Bricio. Samantha Bricio is a senior at the University of Southern California who was named the 2015 American Volleyball Coaches Association National Player of the Year. A first team AVCA All-American and the Pac-12 Pac Player of the Year, 
Samantha received the single highest honor for a volleyball student athlete to complete her four-year career with the women of Troy. Samantha was born in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, and as a 16-year-old uh, student, was the youngest to play for Mexico's senior national team. She came here at the age of 17, and she has no trace of uh, an accent. She is an extremely intelligent young woman. And not that it's a bad thing, but it's, um, it's an, a testament to her intelligence and her ability. Uh, uh, what are you laughing at here? <laughs> you have an accent, but she doesn't. She, she speaks English. All right. <laughs> Calm down, everybody. <laughs> but anyway, please join me in welcoming our 2016 Latino Spirit Award honoree and Achievement at the Athletics, Ms. Samantha Bricio. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, we have to. Yeah, look, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Weso. Please continue. Thank you, Senators. Thank you for your support. Next, we're moving to Esteban Hernandez. Esteban Hernandez is a ballet dancer, also born in Guadalajara. Uh, he is uh, currently dancing professionally with the San Francisco Ballet, the oldest ballet company in the United States. Esteban is the first Mexican to graduate with honors from the prestigious Royal Ballet School in London. In addition to his many achievements in some of the most prestigious international ballet competitions, along with his brother Isaac, Isaac, Esteban also founded the production company Soul Arts Productions and, his, and uh, the nonprofit organization Releve and uh, it also in promoting and producing cultural and artistic projects that generate a positive impact on society through the arts. Please join me in welcoming our 2016 achievement in performing arts honoree, Mr. Esteban Hernandez. Welcome, Esteban. Our next honoree, Mickey Ibarra, is owner of a government relations and public affairs firm in the nation's capital, now celebrating 15 years of quality service to the community. For Mickey, advocacy has always been a way of life. As an advocate, he, honored the leader, he, he honed the leadership skills that led him to the White House as senior staff of President Bill Clinton the creation of his own business, and the development of a Latino Leaders Network nationwide. After teaching at-risk high school students in the Utah public schools, he was hired in 1984 by the National Education Association in Washington, D.C. Mickey was appointed assistant to the president and director of intergovernmental affairs at the White House by, the, by President Bill Clinton in 1997 serving as one of the highest ranking members of the President's Inner Circle. Please join me in welcoming our 2016 achievement in public service honoree, Mr. Mickey Ibarra. Welcome, Mickey. Marco Lizaraga is the director for La Cooperativa Campesina de California, where he has worked for the past 19 years supporting our farm worker community. La Cooperativa is a nonprofit organization representing and providing funding for federally designated farm worker grantees in California who deliver employment and training services to farm workers throughout the state. He has been involved in several social justice causes, including as a volunteer for the Great Boycott and organizing strawberry workers in Oxnard to participate in the strike with Cesar Chavez's union. He is the founder of the United Mexican-American Students 
uh, at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. He has been a planning commissioner in Woodland, California. He is uh, a board member for the Farm Worker Justice in Washington, D.C. Please join me in welcoming our 2016 achievement in community empowerment, Marco Lizarraga. Welcome, Marco. Kamala Lopez is an award-winning actress, screenwriter, director, and producer. She has appeared in over 30 feature films, including Born in East L.A. and the Chico Mendes story opposite the late Raul Julia. And she also directed the award, an award-winning film about first U.S. Congresswoman Jeanette Rankin, a single woman. Her work on behalf of women and girls has been recognized by Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors and the Women's Commission who named her 2015 Woman of the Year. She is the president and CEO of Heroica Films and has launched the movement and film Equal Means Equal to educate Americans about the importance of equal rights under federal law for women. Please join me in welcoming our 2016 Achievement in Advocacy and Entertainment honoree, Ms. Kamala Lopez. Welcome, Kamala. <laughs> Professor Dr. Mario J. Molina is a pioneer and one of the most and one of the leading scientists in the world dedicated to atmospheric chemistry. He was a co-author of the 1974 original article predicting the depletion of the ozone layer as a direct consequence of the emissions of certain industrial gases, earning him and Frank Sherwood Rowland the 1995 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. He has been a member of the National Academy of Sciences and the Institute of Me Medicine in the, United States, in the United States since April 2011, and is one of 21 scientists who served on President Barack Obama's Committee of Advisors on Science and Technology. Currently, he is the president of the Mario Molina Center in Mexico City and professor at the University of California, San Diego, with a joint appointment in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, one of the leading research institutions on climate change. Please join me in welcoming our 2016 Achievement in Science Award honoree, Dr. Mario Molina. Welcome, Dr. Molina. <clears throat> Representing boxing champion Jose Ramirez, we have uh, his brother and sister Luis and Carla Ramirez. Jose Ramirez is an undefeated professional boxer, 17 and 0, who is the WBC Continental America Super Lightweight Champion. Original, originally from Avenal, California, Jose learned to box at the age of eight. As an amateur, Ramirez amassed an impressive record of 145 victories and was the number one rated amateur lightweight boxer in the U.S. and a member of the 2012 U.S. Olympics team. Ramirez won 11 national boxing championships, including the 2010 U.S. national champion uh, at lightweight junior, Golden Gloves national champion. Uh, he was a two-time junior Olympic national champion and a two-time ringside world champion. He also won six consecutive U.S. national titles and gold medals. Outside of the ring, Ramirez has been a staunch advocate for water rights in the San Joaquin Valley. In 2014, he headlined a benefit fight card called The Fight for Water in Lemoore, California, in a bid to help raise awareness for the need of water. 
He has since been involved in four additional fight cards na named the Fight for Water, the latest one which drew 13,000 fans to the arena in Fresno. Please join me in congratulating our 2016 achievement and athletics honoree, Jose Ramirez. Welcome, Jose.